Hi, it's Starnell with Way Over Recipes. This is another air fry Q&A. A lot of times I get asked this question, so I just wanted to do a video about it to give an answer to everyone who may have this question. But a lot of times people get new air fryers and right after they get them, they start using it and they smell a smell and they get concerned about the smell that they're smelling. You need to know that with basically any type of cooker, they usually in the manufacturing process they use different things and the shipping process that get residue on the cooker and so whenever you get a new cooker you need to do an initial burn off run it on like the highest temp I usually do you know maybe just during my initial temperature testing and stuff so maybe 10 to 20 minutes just run it at its highest temperature you can put the accessories in there that come with it that can go in the cooker as well but just do like an initial burn off. And before I do that burn off, I always wash everything thoroughly. I always wash all the accessories. I always wash the interior and all out. And then I do that initial burn off. And, you know, basically that gets rid of all that extra smell and residue. And basically that, you know, should help you with anything as far as any smell you're smelling. You'll smell it on that initial burn off after that, you know, after you know maybe that maybe the first cook you shouldn't smell it anymore you shouldn't even smell it after the initial burn off usually after the initial burn off you won't smell it anymore but maybe you'll smell it you know after the first cook or something but the burn off process the stuff that you smell in the burn off they say it's not harmful at all you know I'm not a scientist on that level to do all that testing for you but you know I will say that they say that it's you know not harmful and you just do that initial burn off to try and get rid of that you know residue and stuff so it's best just to do that burn off and you know you can run it high temperature 10 to 20 minutes and it should burn off all the residue and you shouldn't have any problems with the smell after that point now I do want to address something else because there are some folks that say especially I've heard of this with uh, air fryers that have a plastic housing they say that they smell a plastic smell all the time I mean, I mean like a plastic smell that even gets into their food they can be using their cooker for weeks and still smell this plastic smell or have plastic smell even imparted in their food in those cases you definitely want to talk to the manufacturer you know if you've got a cooker that's putting plastic smell off in your food well beyond that initial burn off you know that's not good you know you don't want to eat food that smell like plastic or taste like plastic so, you know, in those cases, you know, talk to the manufacturer, you know, get some help, you know, from the folks who made the cooker, you know. Maybe you need to look into your return policy. That's all I can say if you're having issues like that. But for the most part, you should be able to do an initial burn off and be fine. When you're getting into smells and things imparting onto the flavor of your food and such after, you know, well after that initial burn off, you know, that's unusual. That's something you need to get uh, taken up with the customer service for whoever made your cooker or whatever, or whatever uh, other options you have available to you because that doesn't seem uh, right. But I do hope that this air fry Q&A helps you folks with, uh, you know, you're maintaining your cookers. And this channel has literally hundreds of videos from Q&As to cooks to reviews. You can check them all out here on this channel. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share the video with a friend, leave a comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and good eating.